I can't believe it's almost fall. Right? I mean, Chalamet knows. <laughs> <laughs> Chalamet <laughs> just does. Oh, Chalamet. Yeah. Chalamet is the false fall. The one that happens before another another warm streak. Mm-hmm. So, with Timothy Chalamet playing both, you know, the lead in Dune and now Willy Wonka, I, I feel like he's just, like... There's a weird, Wonka's not necessarily, he's like sort of fey. He's like a magical creature more than a person. And then, sure. you know, the, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, the the messiah he's supposed to be in Dune. Like, mm-hmm. what is it about Timothy Chalamet that makes everyone think that he's supposed to be, like, magical? Is it just the cheekbones? I think so. I mean, facial structure generally, yeah. I don't know. I I look at him and I, I don't think, like, someone to worship or someone mm-hmm. who's going to, like, magically make me candy. For the crossover, I'm like, I would like to see Wonka in Dune, but I think more, I, I would much prefer to see Dune, and Dune Wonka. Chalamet and Wonka, Wonka Universe. I, I think that would be a... a much more comedic. I want to see Gene Wilder's Wonka in Dune more than I want to see any other crossover you've got, there. You've got to cross over the same character. <laughs> or the same, see, the same actor. I want to see the sand snake come up through like the Wonka factory. <laughs> does it... Out of the river. <laughs> does it terrorize or get along with the Oompa Loompas? Just, get along with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Has to. It's just there for the chocolate. Uh-huh. It's what spices the chocolate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, if Paul's not supposed to be the Messiah, I only read the first one and I was miserable doing it. It's a co-worker of the Oompa Loompas, so oh. they sit around and yeah. have coffee Fair. and breaks. 